In this tutorial, we'll be covering uh, attributes and how they pertain to Magento. Um, just to give you a quick oversight on attributes and the meaning of them, is to kind of show you an example of how they work in Amazon. Um, you'll look here at an Amazon Kindle um, located on the Amazon website, and a, an attribute really details anything that has to do with that product characteristic. Um, relating to that. Product name, um, short description, uh, pricing, uh, availability. These are all attributes that relate to a product. Um, you scroll down you'll see several. Um, this could be features could all be one one attribute. Technical aspects that you see down here. Um, display, size, weight, system requirements, um, on-device storage. Each of these are product attributes. Um, now if we take a look at to Magento, um, we'll see the same type of attributes set up for their products. Uh, product name, price, availability, um, quick overview, uh, like would be a short description possibly. Uh, details, this will be your product description. In-depth is a product attribute, megapixels, dimensions, model, um, and so on. Each of these are product attributes that need to be clearly defined um, at the start of a project so you know how you will lay out your products within the catalog. Uh, so now that you have a quick kind of understanding of what attributes are, um, I will go into the back end of Magento and show you how to set up these attributes. From the catalog uh, drop down in the admin panel, if you go to attributes, manage attributes, you will see all of the total attributes that are that come as default already set up in Magento. Uh, if you go to Catalog Manage Products, you can kind of get an idea on what some of these attributes are. Uh, for the most part, you'll see SKU, uh, you'll see name, you'll see uh, price. Um, those are your typical you know, default Magento attributes. But everything in here that you see in the admin is a, a Magento attribute. Uh, visibility, weight, manufacture, pricing, images, descriptions. Uh, you can all lay these out to however you see fit um, via the admin panel. Uh, now to set these up, if for example, say we want to add in a new attribute. Um, you can give it a code which you know does not have spaces it's for internal use pur uh, purposes only um, so let's say you want to add in um, an attribute for color uh, you'll set the scope to global um, now here are some options for the inputs text field text area date yes or no etc uh, a text field is going to be something that is just like this here that it will be a, a field where you can put in whatever kind of text, uh, typically a, a, a term or a sentence maybe. Uh, a text area will be something more along the lines of that will contain a paragraph uh, such as you know the short description here. Uh, and then the rest are all kind of self-explanatory. Um, dates will be a, a calendar, a yes or no will just be a drop down with a yes or no uh, response. Multiple select and drop down are if you're going to have these to be filterable um, filterable options so if you're on uh, let's say we go into appliances on the Amazon store you'll see these filters over here you can search by department um, by color by brand these are what your filters would be so you would need to either use uh, multiple select or drop down uh, the multiple select means that it, a product can be related to several different options. Um, so say the product comes in five different colors, blue, green, yellow, yellow, orange, and gray. You could select all five of these. Whereas a drop down, it can only be associated with just one. So there would be, you know, it could only be blue. So that's the difference. Um, and these are preset values. Uh, price, self-explanatory, you know, image, and tax. Um, so for now, let's just do a text field. Uh, default values, if there's going to always be a, a default one, um, if there's no options. Typically, it'll be blank. Unique value, no. Values required. Um, some values will need to be required. Uh, for your catalog, it will be very, um, it will be depending on what how your catalog is set up. 
Magento needs to have a SKU, um, it needs to have a product name and stuff like that. You can change these in the admin, but some of those you, you do not want to import without. Um, apply to all product types, it's pretty much going to be standard along with input um, validation for store owner, it's going to be uh, none. Uh, the front end properties will will change depending on how you want these set up. Uh, quick search will relate to this up here, search the entire store. So if you want the attribute to be searched um, by the customer, you'll have it set to yes. Um, advanced search will be as if you want them, once you get into the advanced search and there's several options, um, most likely this will be yes as well. Um, typically for quick search you'll want you know the SKU, maybe the product name, and maybe some other descriptive attributes, uh, maybe keywords and stuff like that. Um, comparable on front end. Uh, this will be as if you want these to be compared. So if you compare these products here, you'll see there's you know a few attributes here that are comparing. If you want them to be compared and shown up here, then you would select yes. Otherwise, leave that as no. Um, using layer navigation, um, these will only be as if you have a drop down or multiple select as it says here. Again, this will show as if you want it to be filtered, if you want it to be um, using layered results um, and stuff like that. So that's what why you would need a layered navi or uh, multiple select or drop down. Promo rules, this means this if you're going to use this for um, some kind of a catalog rule or shopping cart price rule, if you want a 20% off all blue uh, products that have the color blue, um, something like that. Uh, position, um, in, a, in that navigation block, this is where you would set the position. So if you want color to be the top, you would set this as 1, and it would, it would show at the top up here. Um, allow for HTML tags in a front end. Uh, typically, um, you know this would be you know default as as yes um, visible on the product view page on the front end. Um, this would be yes as well, meaning do you want to show up on the product details page? It would just go into here by default um, on a product listing page. This would be as if you want it to be shown on like say the category pages. Typically it's going to be the name, it's going to be the price, sometimes people want to show their SKU or brand name. So there's only a few, you want to keep those down to a minimum. Um, lastly here is the use for sorting um, use for sorting in the, in the product listing. On the front end here you'll see that you can sort by position, name, price, contrast, ratio. If you want to add in one here, so say by color, you could put color in here and it would sort um, through the color attribute that you set up here in the admin. Um, one more thing to keep in mind too is, is if you're going to change this to say a text area, it's going to ask you is if you want to enable a WYSIWYG. So what you see what you get editor. If you want yes, you'll have this editor which populates and you have this kind of Microsoft Word type editor where you can format the text to look how you want. Otherwise, without that, it's just whatever you enter in into these attributes. You will not be able to bold it or you know add, add bullet points and stuff like that. It'll be just be either straight text or HTML code that is brought in through an import or a copy paste. Um, lastly, is the attributes. Um, let's say you did do the multiple select, um, manage label and options. Uh, the admin, each attribute would need an, an, an admin title, meaning short description, description, however you want these to show up in the back end for yourself to be able to know how to manage these. Um, so color, you're just probably going to leave it as color. Um, here on the front end, say these get, um, you want manufacturer item number, there's no spacing. This would be like a, a code. Um, or you can put it something like manufacturer item number, something uh, like that. This is only shown on an import file or internally in the in within the code. Whereas the label is what would show in the back end. So you would have you know manufacturer item number, and then that would display like this. Um, and then also. 
these are for, don't, don't worry about the French or the German, these are if you have language packs, we would put in the translation for each of those. So this most likely is what would display in a front end. So let's just go back to the color example. And this would display here as color and whatever option that you set in that value. But if you're going to have it as a drop down or multiple select, that's where these would come in. You would put your options of blue, green, red, whatever you would specify in there. And this is the options that would come in. You can set one as default, and that's how layout will always go. So as a drop down, let's see if there's one in here. Manufacturer. So here, these are the pre populated values for those. So here's a drop down, it can only be one. Whereas a multiple select, I'm not sure if there's one set up here, you would be able to select Dell, Acer, Apple, AT&T, you'd be able to select multi multiple ones. So that's where these values will come into play. Blue, green, red. Uh, once you save that, you will be able to go into the product detail level in the admin and add the color that you so wish. Lastly, with the attributes, there are attribute sets. And attribute sets here are a breakdown of possibly different product groupings. Um, so you see here, uh, there's cameras, cell phones, computers, CPUs, furniture, hard drives. Um, what these are good for is if you have a very diverse set of uh, products. Whereas, let's say for example, um, a computer might have, um, you know, might have a, a hard drive. Um, whereas a monitor will probably not have a hard drive. So you would not need that attribute within the monitor monitors attribute um, or t-shirts might have um, material whereas a cell phone most likely would not have a material um, etc so you can really organize these to however your catalog will be set up um, it really helps out going forward so you don't have you know when you're trying to set up a t-shirt a product um, you will not have you know, processor speed in there. You will not have monitor size, resolution, because those are not needed for t-shirts, shoes, stuff like that. Um, so you can organize these, drag and drop them into however you want. So here for computers, uh, you'll see how they are set up. Uh, so here, so for example, hard drive speed, you want to drop that into the general tab, just drag it over, megapixels, um, you can add new groups. So if you wanted to have computer details, you can set those all up. Shape, finish, and then in here, that would just be another tab, computer details, over here. Um, and it would only show up for the computer's attribute. Um, it would not show up under shoes or cell phones or anything like that. Uh, so that's just a quick uh, run through on how attributes work um, and how they're set up through uh, the Magento admin. And uh, if you have any questions, please reach out to me, and I'd be more than happy to uh, assist you further. Thanks.